Math 31, welcome to example 5. So example 5 is asking us to evaluate log of 123 to four decimal places. And I put using a calculator here because we'd have to use a calculator. The base of this logarithm, it's a common log, the base is 10. The argument is 123, and 123 is not an integer power of 10, right? We know 10 squared is equal to 100, and I know 10 cubed is equal to 1,000, but there's no integer exponent on 10 that will get me 123. Now just taking a look at this, since 123 is much closer to 100 than it is to 1,000, I think this exponent here will be much closer to 2 than it is to 3. So my guess, if I had to just guess this, I think this would be about 2.1. Now I'm going to see what it is. They want us to go to four decimal places. There's no way I feel like guessing four decimal places. But just gut feelings are telling me, well, the exponent I need on 10 to get to 123, it has to be a little bit larger than 2. And it's nowhere near 3. So let's, let's crunch this on our calculators. So all I'm going to do is hit my log button. Oops, not my LN key, excuse me, my LOG key. And let's type in 123, my argument. And let's go to four decimal places. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And if I look to the right of that fourth digit, it's a zero, which is telling me, hey, you don't need to round up. Just keep it as a nine. So it looks like the answer to this is 2.0899. So I'm going to erase my guess of 2.1 and say that this is 2.0899, okay? Now just for time's sake, I'm gonna do example six uh, on this same video. So let me scooch this up just a bit so we get example six in view. And I wanna talk a bit about what, do, what happens when you see the natural log or this LN. So whenever you see LN, we call that the natural logarithm. And that's because we saw this occurring in nature. That's why it's called a natural logarithm, or Euler did. It's a logarithm with base e. And if you remember from section 2 point, or not 2 point, 6 point 1, if you want that number e, it's about 2.71828. And that keeps on going. So e was Euler's number. It was 2.71828. So I would like, in this case, to do log base e of 123. All right. So I'm not quite sure what number this is going to be. All right, we could figure out e to the one, we know it's about 2.71828. Let's figure out what e squared is, just to get some gut feelings on this before we get going. If I did e squared, that looks like it's about 7.389. Let's do e cubed. That's about 20. What's e to the fourth? That is 54. We're gonna get closer. I think the next one will do it. So 54.598. And just for fun, let's do e to the fifth. Yeah, that's, that's the ticket. So we got e to the fifth equaling 148.413. All right, let me put a little separator there. Why I said that's the ticket is because you can see we passed right over 123. So that means I think the exponent here is gonna be closer to five than it is to four because 123 is closer to 148 than it is to 54. So if I had to guess, I'm thinking like 4.8, but you don't even need to go through all of this. All we gotta do is crunch this on our calculator. So let me clear this out. Your LN button, it's right below your log button. So you have your common log here and then your natural log here. And you can even see in blue, they're showing you the 10 to the X function over the log key versus the E to the X function over the LN key. So this is your calculator's way of trying to remind you, hey, natural log is base E and common log is base 10. But I'm gonna hit the natural log button. So let's do natural log of 123. And what do we get? There it is. I need to go to four decimal places. One, two, three, four. All right, when I look to the right, that's an eight. So I'm gonna round that up to 4.8122. 
All right. So we've got one more example to do, and then we will be out of this section. I'll see you in a bit. Bye.